Hello again. So, despite initial reports suggesting that Neil Warnock was on the way back to QPR for his third stint in charge of the club, someone else has been appointed as QPR's new manager. Welcome, Marty Sifuentes. From what I can see online, that is semi-right. So that leaves just one question. Who is he? I've done a bit of quick digging. Here's what I found out. Cifuentes is a 41-year-old coach from Spain who until today had most recently been manager of Hammarby, a top division club in Sweden. After a very short playing career, Marty became a coach and started applying his trade in the youth teams of Millwall and Ajax. His first head coach role came at St Andrew in Segunda Division B, which is formerly the third division in Spain. He won 38% of his matches there in one season before he joined fellow Segunda B club La Hospitale in 2015. 16. There he had a win rate of 29% before making the move to Sweden to take charge of AIK's reserves team and academy. In 2018 he joined Sandfjord in Norway's top division. He joined mid-season taking over a team that had taken just 5 points from 12 games. Sound familiar? Despite results improving under Cifuentes with just 6 losses in the next 18 matches, Sandfjord were relegated. Hopefully that bit isn't the bit that chimes true at the end of this season. In the following season though he guided the club back to the top division finishing 2nd place at the the first attempt. In 2020 the club finished 11th which was the club's record finish. His win rate there was 40%. In December 2020 he joined AAB in Denmark. He led the club across 37 fixtures over two seasons winning 42% of his games before being poached by his latest club Hammerby in January 2022. Now that takes us to Marty's most recent job and he started last season very well. He reached the final of the League Cup losing narrowly 5-4 on penalties to Malmo. Hammerby would go on to finish third in the table qualifying for the Europa Conference League for the first time since the 21-22 season. This year Hammerby sit in sixth with 28 games played. Unfortunately in the Europa Conference League they didn't make it past the second qualifying round, losing 2-1 on Negret to FC20. Now his last match for the club was tonight, a 2 all draw against Sirius in which they conceded in the 92nd and 95th minute after going 2-0 up. That sounds very like QPR so hopefully that's not a trait that he brings with him to the club. So what kind of manager is he? Well from what I can see at Hammerby he's favoured 4-3-3 as his main formation but he's also been adapting to 4-1-4-1 and 4-4-2. He likes a high pressing flexible team and he likes to surprise the opposition often playing with deep and sometimes inverted fullbacks. There's quite an emphasis on the midfield. His average possession at Hammerby was 56% and in his first season his team scored an average of 2.14 goals per 90 minutes and conceded just 0.93 per 90. He likes to build up play from deep positions which sounds quite a stark contrast to what Ainsworth was trying at QPR. So what do I think about this appointment? It's certainly a gamble. The timing of it is quite strange. I do know that he was interviewed for the job at the same time as Michael Bill before Bill was eventually appointed in June 2022. So the club have been admirers of him for some time. I did think in the situation that we're in right now that we would be appointing a relegation specialist like Neil Warnock. I even wondered if Nigel Pearson becoming available yesterday might have tempted the club. And I certainly didn't expect them to appoint Sofuentes as quickly as they have. But he clearly has a wealth of experience across many leagues in Europe and that is going to come in handy. He also has a lot of experience in youth setups and working with teams on a budget. Those are all criteria that he clearly meets. The main question is going to be, is the timing right? He does have experience of coming into a side that is bound for relegation and turning them around, though he didn't pull off the escape at Sandfjord. This feels to be more akin to the type of appointment that we did make with Michael Bill, which until he went, and he went on that losing streak at the end, felt like a refreshingly progressive appointment for QPR. So it seems the owners have gone down that line of thinking once again. I do know from the announcement that there is no talk on the contract length yet. I was always shocked that they gave Gareth Ainsworth a three and a half year deal. I do wonder if they'll be giving him a similar length of contract. He has moved about a fair bit over the years, so it's going to be interesting to see what the details are on that one. Sifuentes' first game, of course, is Rotherham away on Saturday. They haven't been in great form, so you couldn't ask for a much better first match in charge. And with the speed with which he's been announced today, it seems that this has been planned for at least a week or so. And you can see why he wasn't given Leicester at home as his first fixture. Anyway, those are my initial thoughts. I'd love to hear what you think in the comments. If you've enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. And I will be doing some more content around Sifuentes. My initial thoughts after Rotherham, of course, and anything else I learned about him in the coming weeks. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time.